All India Institute of Medical Sciences to be established in Karnataka. PG students of Jamia Millia Islamia protest against offline exams. Maharashtra FYJC admission process delayed. Kerala CEE postpones KEAM 2022. Indian Army organizes lecture on how to join Indian Army in Ramban village. UG admissions in Orissa likely to get delayed this year. Nagpur University exams to commence on June 8th. Good afternoon and a warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network where we get you the latest developments in education at the top of the south. This is Nitya reporting from ANN and the Daily Stories. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandwia has given a green signal for establishing an All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Karnataka, as said by the State Health Minister K. Sudhakar on Wednesday. The assurance was given during a meeting between Sudhakar and Mandwia in New Delhi. I thank our beloved Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandwia ji for assuring and aims for Karnataka. This will greatly benefit the state and further enhance the state's health and medical education, said Mr. Sudhakar. Karnataka had earlier submitted a request to the Union Government to start an aims in the state to enhance public health care and medical education infrastructure, his office said in a statement. The minister also said a DPR, that is a detailed project report, for a new National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Poly Trauma Center and PG Institute has been submitted to the Standing Finance Committee. Once approved, the new institute will come up at Kyalasanahali near Henur Main Road in Bengaluru. Initially, the Karnataka government had submitted a proposal to the SFC for the construction of a medical college in 2021. However, the SFC had asked the government to focus on their hands' expertise in PG training. The students of Jamia Millia Islamia pursuing postgraduate courses staged a protest on Tuesday against offline exams. The students protested outside the proctor's office on the first day of the offline exams. Some students even boycotted their exams. Meanwhile, Jamia authorities said that as classes have been held offline, the exams will also be conducted in physical mode as per schedule. The exams for the majority of postgraduate courses including MBA, MA in Human Rights, MA in Public Administration and MA in Political Science commenced on Tuesday. Students have also submitted a memorandum to Basim Ahmed Khan, JMI. The chief proctor said a section of students boycotted their exams and demanded that the exams should be held online. We have made it clear that in February 20th meeting, it was decided that the exams will be held offline for courses for which offline classes were conducted. A postgraduate student said, I have boycotted my exam. We have had classes in online mode and only for two months, the classes were held offline. How are students supposed to mark everything up and give exams online? The FYJC Class 11 admissions have been postponed. The process for the first year junior college was supposed to start from Tuesday onwards. The mock test round will start after May 23rd and after that the first stage for form filling will begin for candidates. Due to technical issues, the process of admissions is quite difficult to handle. The process for the mock round was expected to be held from May 1st to May 14th. The process of form filling will be divided into two parts. The first part includes the form filled with personal details while the second part of the form includes giving preferences of colleges once the results are declared. This has been done in coordination with the state board results. From August 1st, 2020, the portal opened for students to fill out part one of their form which includes basic details. The department will later notify students of the dates for filling part two which includes entering marks and college preferences. The department may also introduce new plans to roll out a mobile application. According to an official from the department, the mobile application has been tested and will be launched soon. The Kerala Commissioner for Entrance Examinations has postponed KEAM 2022. The official website reads, KEAM 2022 Kerala Engineering and Pharmacy Entrance Examination postponed to 4th July 2022. A notification regarding the same is available on the official website, cee.kerala.gov.in. Due to changes in various other exams like JEE, NATA, etc., the KEAM date has also been pushed ahead by a day. Earlier, the examination was scheduled to be conducted on July 3, 2022. The CEE is likely to release the KEAM 2022 admit card on June 10. 
With the objective of uplifting the youth in the region, the Indian Army conducted a motivational lecture on how to join Indian Army at Batu, a remote village of Ramban district, with a view to spread awareness amongst the youth over the aspects regarding employment opportunities being offered by the Indian Army. PRO Defence Udhampur said a total of 60 students participated in the lecture and great enthusiasm was noticed amongst participants, including girl participants. During the lecture, various entry schemes and platforms for commission and enrollment in the Indian Army were explained to the aspirants, including mandatory qualification requirements and unparalleled pay and perks, besides the selection process for various types of entries into the services. Army has also been conducting pre-recruitment training to enable the local boys to compete in recruitment drives. The admission process for undergraduate courses in Odisha may get delayed this year as the plus two board exams were conducted much later than its usual schedule. Despite the state government's efforts to normalize the processes of holding classes, admission, exams and publication of results, it will take time for the entire cycle to return to the pre-COVID schedule of the academic calendar. In 2019, while the plus two exams were conducted by the Council of Higher Secondary Education, that is CHSE, between March 7th and 30th, classes of UG or plus three first year courses began on August 8th, 2019. A teacher of a degree college said it is likely that this year's UG admission process may get delayed. The ongoing plus two exams will end on May 31st. Then the evaluation process will be conducted before publication of results. After that, passed out candidates can apply for the UG courses. This entire process is going to be very lengthy this year. Though the state government is yet to take a decision on the date of publication of plus two exam results, students are not likely to get their scores or grades before at least two months. The summer examinations at Nagpur University in Maharashtra will begin on June 8th as informed by a senior university official on Wednesday. The timetable for the final examinations will be published on the university's website soon, he said. Examinations for undergraduate students will start from June 8th, while the same for the postgraduate courses will begin from June 15th and all other examinations, excluding those for the first and second year students, will begin from June 22nd, said the official. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theann.com. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, this is Nitya.